everybody, this is Krista Rodriguez and this is Kiss and Tell for Broadway.com, my new video vlog. Um, I'm so excited. This is really exciting for me. Just being able to work the camera has been a, a momentous occasion this morning. Um, so here I am in my dressing room. Uh, I'm just going to take you around a little bit. We're getting ready for a big day today, so uh, I'm going to kind of walk you through what we do here on a non-typical day, and uh, you'll get to see all the ins and outs and talk to all my co-stars, and it's going to be really fun. So enjoy, all you beautiful people out there. Mwah. Okay, so here we are. We're back in my dressing room, and we're getting ready because today we're shooting B-roll for the show which means we are going to basically get in full hair, makeup, costumes, everything. And then we're going to um, kind of run bits of the show and videotape it. So when you guys see like commercials and see like, um, <clears throat> you know, things of different press stuff and you see clips from the show, that's all from this session of B-roll. So we actually end up um, doing parts of the show out of context, all kind of over and over again. So we're sort of like filming um, clips of our show so that it looks good. So we're all getting ready. We're here during rehearsal and like going full tilt. So right now, to start getting ready, I am reapplying my temporary tattoo, which I have as a sight gag in the show um, so that uh, it looks good and fresh. I use a, um, a temporary tattoo. I'll show you all about it. Temporary tattoo on this lovely palette of temporary tattoos. And the one that we all agreed on was Courage. We assume that it means courage. If any of you out there read these, um, let me know if this actually says courage or if it says, like, fried chicken. Because I, I have no idea. And now here it is. Okay, so in, like, ten seconds, I'm going to show you my, my touched-up tattoo. This one sort of started falling off early. I try to wear them um, about four performances each, and then I have to take it off because it looks bad. Um, but a lot of people ask me if it's real. It's not real. I have no tattoos. I am non-committal to permanent things on my body. So look, can you see? It's like way better. It's darker, and it'll dry, and it'll look really cool, and then I have courage. So here we are, ready for the show. This is me all done up. Um, can you see me? Here's my face. My, my date wear. I'm ready to go on a date. I've got bracelets. I've got an amazing outfit. The only thing I'm not wearing is my shoes because um, my shoes are very big. They're like five inches. So I have to wear these um, so I can walk around the stairs and stuff and then get ready. So uh, I have to put my jacket on and my purse, which are behind me, and I'm about to go on stage. All right. Bye. Hi, guys. In the blogosphere. Um, Krista here again. No, you're all in this. Um, so we're here at Broadway Bryant Park, which is super exciting, except for that it's raining outside. Look at how gross it is. But people are still showing up, so we're really excited about that. So here we all are. I'm going to introduce you to our cast. All right, say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi, Broadway.com. Hi, Broadway.com. Everybody say hi. We've got Brandon. Hi, Broadway.com. Yeah. Hi, Broadway.com. <laughs> And Bryce, and Blake, and Kate, Blake. and this Blake. guy, and Sarah, <laughs> and Christopher yeah, Cusick. Guy. Close up. <laughs> Close, Close up. up. We are in this tripped out Winnebago, and we're eating sandwiches from Panera. Which we love. We love which Panera. We love. <laughs> <It's more> Panera. <laughs> Kate's trying to get a deal with Panera. Sponsored by Panera. No, we really don't have like any sponsor life. deals from Panera. <laughs> sponsored by Panera. Tweet me. I wonder where she goes. Tweet me. That was a big bus. That was a big bus. Hey, it was a big bus. Yes. Norbert, you're on Broadway.com. Oh. <laughs> okay, so one of the great things about being at Broadway and Bryant Park is you get to be with a bunch of other Broadway shows. So. We have some cool people here with us today. Michael Yuri. I'm off Broadway. It's cool. <laughs> Not for long now, right? Yeah. I mean, Broadway wants you back. You want to come back? Well, show them your cute Byron Seller hat. 
Yay. He, you're hosting our event today. Some kinky boys from the kinky boots. Hey y'all, keep, keep calm and get kinky. kinky. Now what number are you guys doing today? Land of Lola. <coughs> Land of Lola. All right, and what does that entail? Do you have to kick your faces this Standing morning? Standing and staying dry. <laughs> okay. And singing really high. Yeah. This game that Paul Cannon taught me just now, which is called uh, Broadway Baby. And I'm going to put... Well, it's called Heads Up. It's called Heads Up. I'm going to put it on my forehead. I'm going to try and guess what it is. It's Ellen DeGeneres' game. She plays color guest. I feel like you're going to be good at this. Okay. Um, she started Miss Saigon, the original. Miss Longa. Yep. Pop it down and up. Nope. This way. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, 76 trombones led that show. Yep. You're good. Uh, from Fan of the Opera, his big solo. Uh, music of the Night. Yep. Um, good morning, Miss Sarah. Good morning, Miss Sarah. Um, Beauty and the Beast? Yep. <laughs> She sang um, in a show yeah. that I was in. Anything goes. Uh, Sutton Foster. Yes. Um, come on. Down. They gotta make these hard. Come on. Oh, I know. You were in this show. Da 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 da. Woo! Yep. <laughs> um, oh, this one is a, it's a body of water and the beginning of a show. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> Not the Atlantic Ocean, but the Pacific Pacific Overture. Yes. Um, Stay with me. I am there. That show that Verna Peters was in originally. Oh, oh no, no. Beans, beans. 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 Oh, uh, 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 oh my god, stop. Uh, into the woods. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna play this game with Zach now because he knows nothing about musical theater, so it's gonna be even fun because you just watched me nail it and now you're gonna watch him fail it. Go! Okay, this is the musical that we showed you the video of from the Tonys of the woman who sang that really big song. Dream girls. Yes! Oh, yeah. I feel good okay, about this. This is the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Right, that's where they go. With the. He's, uh, um, uh, <laughs> no, no, I know, I know it. It's Johnny, Johnny Depp was in it. Uh, yeah. It's um. It's um. It, it, the last name is um Abraham Lincoln's wife's last name. Oh. <laughs> Stretch. <laughs> Crying on the night. No, oh like, my god. No, um, um, uh, she hosts. No, I, uh, no it's. Um, um, she hosts the bi uh, Biggest Loser. <laughs> no Allison. No. Uh, uh, Sweeney Todd. Yes! <laughs> okay. Oh, no, right. no. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a musical. Um, it was a few years ago. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know how I going to get this. Um, Sweating. I'm Sweating. This. Um, this, this is a what? Uh-huh. <laughs> and it, there is a, like a square in Italy. What would you call it? Uh, plaza. Close. A light, light, uh, a light in the piazza. Yes! Yeah. This is, um, Sarah Jessica Parker was in it. Uh, oh. up. That's pretty good. Oh. Alright. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. I we felt good right. about that. I actually did not do that bad. Yeah, but I gave you clues. A light in the piazza. That's pretty good. Hi. So, we just finished our Broadway and Bryant Park performance, which was crazy. I've done Broadway and Bryant, and Bryant Park, like, three times and it's never rained so we got like super rained on but the fans were super great and they came out with their umbrellas and were really supportive and had a good time so now we're back at the theater we have a little time before we have rehearsal because we're still in previews and uh, so I wanted to take you around my dressing room and show you kind of what, what goes on on the first floor here at the Long Anchor Theater so this is my room I'm gonna take you around I'll start left to right okay so there's my sink and my beautiful curtains. Um, I picked this paint color myself and the carpet color. I wanted to go for very, uh, you know, saucy, nightclub-y color themes with the red and the purple. My costume in the show is red and black, so I, want, I knew it would be the only thing hanging in my dressing room, so I designed around that. Now I'm taking you through what we like to call the master suite. So usually, you would have your own bathroom if you were, like, you know, in a big Broadway show. But Zach and I decided to uh, forego separate bathrooms, so we have a Jack and Jill, and we share this adorable Jack little Jill! adorable little bathroom where we bought this ducky painting from IKEA, it's and so uh, it's so ducky. And uh, yeah, so here's our bathroom, and this is how we get ready. We leave the doors open and run lines and stuff, and then we can close them off and. Lock the door. One of us goes to the bathroom, we have to lock the door. And then sometimes we forget to lock the door. So then we unlock the door, I mean, when we're done. So then yeah, sometimes we forget to unlock the door. <laughs> I think that's the more appropriate way to take place. Sometimes I forget to unlock the door. And Zach has to come in through my room and use the bathroom. Um, so this is Zach's room. It's considerably larger than mine. 
and uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> he picked this very manly brown color called Valley Forge Brown, wow. and a and a green grassy carpet for his woodsy feeling. Um, I tried to pick a better brown. It was not. It was not the right brown. He didn't. He doesn't like it as much. But it's good. It should have been a little darker. Instead, it came out like baby poop. <laughs> no, it's kind of baby not. poop brown. It's a little baby poop brown. But you know, we like it. Whatever. Uh, we're getting used to it. So, take us around your dressing room, Zachary. What do, What do you need before the show? Well, show us your lovely sign. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> he loves this thing. I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, the uh, NBC 4th of July special. Which you might have seen on television. Uh, with Nick Cannon, hosted by Nick Cannon. And they had uh, like crowd people uh, with signs to like get the crowd going that had applause <laughs> <laughs> and cheers. And, uh, and I thought, I want that. So, so he stole I it. Took it. And no, I asked though. No, yeah, you asked. I didn't just steal. He took it. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us about your couch. This couch. So the couch, this. Um, I'm gonna tell you something a little about this couch. <laughs> this is um, this is maybe uh, this this goes down in IKEA's uh, <laughs> like all star uh, catalog because it was out of stock for, for like a month. Uh, but it's so awesome because <laughs> it's I hope people care about this. Yeah, it's it's a full sectional. But you you see, did you guys remember storage. my little? Hold on, you remember my little tiny little thing? This is what Zach gets to fit in his dressing room. Okay, it has storage. The, the, the green with envy. <laughs> I make no bones about it. I don't lie to you. So you get this amazing chaise with all this storage in it. I mean, I could put a dead body in there. Yeah, you could fit a Krista in there. Yeah, a dead Krista. A dead or a, or a live Krista. Yeah, but sometimes I go there just to get away from it all. You also get this Look at this thing. Dealio Look at this thing. Pops out and you get a, you get a full, full bed. like bed. Which you like never used. It's not like he just got it actually. Oh my god. <laughs> the the it's, couch came while Zach this. while I'm Zach was away. Four. Like I can fit a, yeah. a man on this. You can fit a man on this. And yet, and yet I will say that as much as I love my couch, I may love my his chair. Over. He loves this chair. Even more. He sits in it because more I than feel, he does the couch. Ready? I feel Look at that masterpiece theater. I feel sophisticated in this chair. Mm -hmm. And I can kick Puts my feet, feet up, up on my couch. He plays his video games. Play video game. That's the master suite. That's where we basically live here. And uh, I'll take you back through the lovely bathroom. Get out of here, Jill. <laughs> and go back into my room. See, look. Isn't that great? Now we're ready. All right. That's that's today, and uh, we'll see you later. We're, we're starting a new tradition. It's a new tradition of having a dance party at your stage door. Uh huh. Because why the hell not? <laughs> so this thing is called a jam box, which we oh, we introduced you to the jam box. Big what? Jam box. Big jam box. Big jam box. Okay. So because it's wireless, we're gonna set it up, and while we do um, stage door. I have a playlist on my phone. Yeah. We're gonna have a dance party, so we're gonna take you out to the dance party. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna do the dance party. Ready? Are you ready? Put it on. Got it. Everybody get up. Hey, everybody. We're going to have a dance party tonight. That's crazy. <laughs> Sorry. So that's it for our first episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of what we do back here. Uh, we just finished our Sunday matinee. Uh, our fourth week of previews is now over and we open next week and we're really excited. Um, so yeah, tune in. Um, tweet me at uh, Krista Rodriguez, but the O in Rodriguez is a zero because some of y'all stole my name before I could get on Twitter. So um, that's my name, and hashtag kiss and tell. Um, you can tweet me your questions. We're going to do weekly Bryce, interviews. Oh, Bryce door. has a guest Bryce, at the stage door. A guest at the stage door. Um, we're going to do weekly interviews with each member of the cast, since there's only seven of us. And um, we'll just get to know each other really well. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.